Hello, this is Harlan. Never in history have you ever seen anything like this. This is Jesus talking to God. If you want to get the mind of Christ and understand Christ, read this and see how Jesus relates to the Father. This is the only person that ever talked to God in this manner. He came out from God. He was connected to God. He was God's son. He was the only man that had never sinned. He could talk to God as father to son. So pay attention and you'll learn something uh, important, especially you Holy Ghost children. If you want to know more about your Savior, the mind of your Savior, and he said, I want them to be with me. I want them to be one. I don't want them in this world. I want them out of the world. So listen to how he talks to God. And now we're born again and we have the Holy Spirit and we can pray to God in this manner because now we're his children. We're his sons and daughters. This has never been before. This is the only time in history you'll ever read about a man talking to God that came out from God, that was had glory with God. They was one with God. He wants us to be one with God. And he's telling him, I don't have any honor here in this world. Glorify me, Father. I had honor with you. The world has not honored Jesus. So pay attention and understand that we're not of this world. You've got to get these points of view. If you don't, you'll never understand Jesus and what he come to do. Jesus said, I'm coming home. That's what he's actually telling the Father. Father, this is my life's prayer to you. I'll be coming home. And <clears throat> they don't want me. They want me out of here. And we're hated here. They hate me. They'll hate my children. And so I don't ask you to take them out of the world, but I ask you to keep them from the devil. The devil owns this world. I'm not part of this world. So understand, if you belong to Jesus, you're not part of the world. And understand the mind of Christ. Understand the thinking. Understand who you are. We're children of God. We're born again. The ones that's received the Holy Ghost and He's regenerated you, God will protect you. The world does not know you, see. The world will not know you. They will never understand you. You'll understand them, but they won't understand you. Notice how He talks to God. We do not belong to this world. That's what He's saying. We do not belong to this world. I'm coming to you. Keep them. I want them to be with me. That where I am, they will be also. I want them to be there with me. So this is the only place in history that you'll find a man that talked to God. Now, I know Job talked some with God, but he said, I put my hand to my mouth. And Moses, he got the law. He talked to God, but Moses didn't even get to go over in the promised land. This is a man that came down from God. And I know that uh, other prophets spoke with God but not like this man. This is our king. He's the one that God's given the new world to. And he's not of this world. The world hates him. A lot of people think Jesus is coming back straight enough up this world. No, they're not in the world. They're not of the world. This is not our world. This is Satan's world. He said, I pray you keep them from the evil. This evil one has no place in me. So get these points of view, how Jesus talks with God. And this is how you can relate to him now. Because you're his children if you have the Holy Ghost. Now, Bible worshipers, they can't pray like this. Because this is of a spiritual man, a son of God. He's out of this world. He's one with God. He's connected to God by the Spirit. He has no honor here, but he has honor with God. And he's, he said, he's no part of the devil. Keep these children of mine from the devil. I'm coming home. We are hated here. Keep them from the evil one. The world does not know you, Father, but I know you and they know you. And by the authority you give me, we don't belong to the, to the world. I want them to be with me. This is the mind of Christ. Notice how he talks to God. And this is his holy father. And the father said, This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. So pick up on this, children of God, how Jesus thinks, how the mind of Jesus works. And this is why we have to be. We belong to him. We're not part of the world. We don't belong to the world. We're out of the world. What did Jesus have when he left the world? All he had was his robe and his sandals. And they cast lots for that. He didn't have nothing. He didn't come and build no big buildings or build no uh, cattle ranch or 
uh, ship and industry. He came and told them about his Holy Father. He came out for God to give us life. So pay attention to this. When he talked with God, you'll get some understanding, see? Just as I don't belong to the world, they don't belong to the world. You don't belong to this world, children, if you've received the Holy Our King speaks to us from heaven. He controls us by the Spirit from above. And He'll tell us where to go, what to do. And as things get rough on the earth, you're going to need that. You're going to need to know Jesus is mine and know that you're part of Him. Know that you're of the great Creator of the world. And the devil does not control you on this earth. He don't control you with Bibles or books. Jesus gave them Himself. He gave them the message. He gave His life. And so... We've got to understand these truths. And so if, you, if you're if building big buildings and uh, having your treasures on earth, then you belong to the world. But us children of God, we do not belong to the world. Get this mind. See this man that's talking to, his, to our Creator. This is his Father. This is the relationship he had with him. This is the glory he had with him. Never did man speak like this. He spoke to the Creator of the world as he was part of him. And he loved him and he was coming back to him and His glory was with Him, and He's going to take us with Him. At where He is, we will be there with Him. So get this message. This is the only place in history that it shows where a man talked to God in this manner. And this is a man of God that was raised from the dead, returned to the Father, and He wants us to come and live with Him forever. Get this. People in the world that live after the flesh, they'll never understand this. But you little Holy Ghost children, you understand this because this is Jesus talking with our Creator. And someday He'll show us plainly of the Father. And the Father loves us as He loved Jesus. And He wants us born again. He wants us regenerated by the Holy Ghost. The only thing on earth that Satan cannot use is the Holy Spirit. So get in the Holy Spirit. Jesus was filled with the Holy Spirit. He was the only one, the only begotten Son of God. And He did not sin. And this is the way you can talk to God if you're filled with the Holy Spirit, you can have relationship with Him. You can be part of Him. And you can belong to Him. You're out of this world. You're one with God. You're connected by the Spirit. You have no honor here. And so uh, you have to be kept from the devil. He'll keep you from the evil. And we'll be hated as He was hated and killed. And He wants us, the world does not know you. See, the world won't never know you with the Holy Ghost in you. So believe this, the Bible's an idol, the Bible's the mark of the beast, and you want to be with Jesus, listen to how he talks. Listen to his mind. Get the mind of Christ. This is the mind that Jesus... Never, never in history did anyone ever talk to God like this. He was part of God. He came out from God. Moses, you see, he didn't even get to go over in the promised land. But we're one with him. Be one with Jesus Christ. Be one with God. And the only way to do that it's by the Holy Spirit. Let the Holy Spirit live in you and guide you and teach you and love you and let Jesus love you. He wants to take you home forever. We're talking about eternal life. This man talked of eternal life right there while he is on earth. He said, Father, I'm coming home. I'm coming to you. And you keep these that you gave me. I gave them the message. And now I'm coming home to you. Now, we want to be part of him. So have this mind. That was in Christ Jesus. Let this mind be in you. And let the uh, world that you love be the new world that God's creating. Let it be the world where Jesus is the king. Jesus is not the king of this world, as they tell you. He's not over this world. He's, he don't belong to this world. Now listen to what he said. And then you be like that. And that's the way Jesus is. Set your mind like Jesus is mine. Set your mind on things above. And know that you... Uh, will be quickened by the same Spirit that raised Him from the dead. Listen to me. I'm telling you the truth. Never man talked like this man talked on earth. He was part of God. We are part of God also if we let the Holy Ghost live in us. Now, Baptists, Pentecostals, Catholics, they don't know what I'm saying. They can't talk to God like this because they're in Bibles. They're in big buildings. We're in the Spirit. We're in Christ. And we love Him. The Bible's an idol. The Bible is the mark of the beast. You love God in the Spirit and let the Spirit of God also be in you and be one with Jesus Christ. The Bible is the mark of the beast. Mm -hmm.